Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Lauer, a cardiologist with MidMichigan Health. Shoveling snow in the cold weather can have a chilling effect on the heart. Each year, we see an increase in heart attacks on the days of heavy snowfall. A heart attack occurs when blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked. Without blood flow, the heart muscle doesn't get the necessary oxygen and other nutrients, and if blood flow is cut off for more than a few minutes, the muscle begins to die. When the heart muscle dies, this may lead to permanent damage or complications either immediately or even years later. If a heart attack is recognized and treated immediately, permanent damage and the chance of complications can be minimized. Most often, a heart attack is caused when a cholesterol buildup that has developed over years or decades tears on the surface. The body tries to repair this tear by forming a small blood clot. However, in a two to four millimeter artery, even a small blood clot can shut the flow off completely and lead to the heart attack. Yes, it can. The arterial injury that leads to a heart attack can occur randomly or can be precipitated by physical or emotional stressors. Sudden exertional activities in cold weather can trigger a heart attack or sudden cardiac death. With shoveling, we tend to exert ourselves more than perhaps we're used to. In addition, the frigid temperatures can put additional stress on the heart, which in combination with the heavy work can lead to the arterial injury that causes the heart attack. In addition, we may tend to minimize or not recognize the sometimes subtle symptoms of a heart attack because we attribute those symptoms to the breathing in the cold air or being bundled up or the extra work that we're doing. So it's important to recognize these small signals. The common signs or symptoms of a heart attack may be a discomfort, pain, pressure, or squeezing of the chest. This discomfort may radiate to or even be limited to an arm, the neck, jaw, back, or stomach. There may be some shortness of breath, some unusual sweating, nausea, or feeling of dizziness. If you have symptoms that you think may be a heart attack, you should call 911 immediately. It's preferable to call 911 rather than have someone drive you to the emergency room because all of the EMS vehicles in this region have the ability to perform an EKG immediately upon arrival and notify us at the hospital so we can be prepared to stop your heart attack even before you arrive at the hospital. As with any exercise, if you're out of shape or have a history of heart disease or have had recent symptoms, you should check with your doctor before tackling that snow drift. Although heart attacks can occur in those even without risk factors, those with risk factors for heart disease, such as smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, or a family history, should be especially careful and vigilant for the subtle symptoms. For some, the safest thing may be to rely on a family member or a company to do the work for you. You should avoid shoveling when you first awaken, as this, for a variety of reasons, is when most heart attacks occur. In addition, you should avoid eating a very large meal before going out to shovel, as the blood flow of the stomach can divert blood flow to the heart and increase the risk of problems. In addition, don't forget to warm up your muscles by stretching and doing some light working or walking inside the house before going outside to shovel. It may be best to use a smaller shovel and do multiple small shovel folds rather than fewer, heavier, large shovel folds. Alternatively, you may try one of the new snow pushers, which avoids the heavy work of having to lift the snow at all. You should dress in light layers to avoid either hypothermia or becoming excessively overheated both of which can stress the heart. In addition, be sure to take frequent breaks to give your body and heart a break and to allow you time to assess whether you may be having some subtle symptoms. I'm Dr. Lauer with MidMichigan Health. Take care of your heart and be careful with shoveling snow this winter.